What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you a pretty easy solution for something that's kind of a pain in the ass. If you, uh, if you ever had one of these UTVs, like we've got a couple of them, they got a plastic roof and we want to put a light bar on it so when they're out in traffic they're not running into other cars or having other cars run into them rather. I don't, yeah, I don't know how that would help the first, I don't know. Doesn't make any sense. Don't get it. Anyway. We want to put a light bar on it, so we picked up one of these Amazon deals for like 40 bucks, right? Magnet mount, plastic roof. That's not going to work, right? So I got a solution, and it's pretty ghetto, but it works. First, you want to go ahead and make sure you got a nice cold snack ready to go. Got the light bar. You're going to go down to like Tractor Supply or something like that. Find yourself some, I don't know, cheap steel. This is like, uh, I don't know, 22 gauge? Sure, why not? That'll work. We're going to cut this up a little bit, make it, uh, you can see I already stuck the magnet to it. We're going to cut this in half. It's about the size of the light bar, and I'll show you what we're going to do to make that uh, mount work. She's full. Go ahead and put yourself a cutting wheel on there. Don't even bother with the tool because uh, you tighten it up with the tool, you're never going to get it off. Just crank her by hand, and if she loosens up, take care of it. Tighten it up more. Don't mess around. Get a Milwaukee. Now you got a death wheel. Clamp your shitty piece of metal to the shittiest picnic table that you can find. Preferably one with super wobbly everything. Um, then you're going to go ahead and take your light bar here. Just check it out. Yeah, it's about... Sure, why not? Yeah, that works. Cut her in half. Uh, you should never use a grinder without the guard. It's really unsafe. You could get hurt. You also, you know, some people are going to say, hey, you should make that straight and make it look better. I, you know, I don't think it really fucking matters. So here we go. God damn it. Magnets stick to fucking everything. What do you know? Perfect size. Voila. Yeah, that cut out and kind of fits. It's close. Close enough. Why not? Get yourself a marker. Get these Milwaukee ones. They'll write on anything. I'm telling you, Milwaukee makes the best stuff. I don't care what it is. They can make toilet paper. I'd fucking buy it. Take your wicked expensive Sharpie marker or Milwaukee marker if you're me. Take your shitty plate that you just cut out and somewhere you know kind of on the outside of where that light's gonna be you're just gonna go ahead and make yourself a happy little dot and then try to line it up i mean you can get fancy but i don't think it really fucking matters so right here another one yep looks good sure why not yep that's a good one too Fuck around, get the best. Oh, that one's fucking useless, never mind. Full charge, right on. Gotta do it every time. That's how you spell garbage or junk. Find a drill bit. Doesn't matter what it is. You'll probably drill the wrong size anyway, but I think the bolts I got are 5 16 So this one says 23 64 I don't really know what size that actually is or whatever but you guys with math back home you could tell me if it's bigger or smaller but 
I'm just gonna drill holes and hopefully it's the right size. Always make sure you secure your workpiece before drilling. Obviously with your hand, right? Well, that's not working. I guess I gotta drill closer to my truck. Yeah, looks good. Go ahead and drill four of those out on all corners and then we'll pick up from that. All right, take your shitty plate that you just cut out with holes that you randomly drilled, because you, why measure? Why measure, right, Tom? Oh, yeah. You don't need to measure. Yeah, so now you're gonna put this thing in the middle of the roof somewhere. You know, get perfect, don't get perfect. I don't really think it matters unless it matters to you, but you know, get her in there. That's really fucking hot. Um, just kinda, oh yeah, sure, looks like a good spot. We'll move her forward a little bit first. We gotta get away from the edge. Sure, why not? Send it through. Get off of this. Take one of these, which by the way, perfect guess on the drill bit size. I'm just gonna put that in there to hold it, right? Hold her steady. Get her semi lined up, go across the way here. Helps if you put it in the right gear. Go through it. Now it's held in place, you can drill the rest of them out. Or not. Oh yeah, she's good. She's lined up. Mint. So now you're gonna say to yourself, hey, I drilled holes in the roof of my fucking UTV. It's gonna leak on me. No, it's not, because I have some clear adhesive sealant. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with this thing. We're gonna come over here to the shitty plate that we cut out and just randomly punched holes in in some sort of pattern. And we're just gonna, we're gonna go like this. We're gonna go around all the holes, right? Just nice like, like that. To prevent any leaks. I think it's better. Once it's on, we're gonna take our knockoff brand Flex Seal and just fog it over the whole top. No leaks, I've done this already twice on radio mounts on these same machines. So she should hold together, hopefully. All right, reporting to you live from up here again. Get yourself whatever random hardware you can find. I paid way too much for this at Allardyce, the uh, Ace Hardware place here. Go to Tractor Supply. It's a lot less money. Do yourself a favor. So we got this thing all adhesived, ready to go. We're just gonna plop it on there, run these bolts through, and then definitely over tighten the shit out of them. That sounds like it's rolling. All right, so like adhesive side down, and you know, you're probably gonna just misalign everything. So pay attention to which way you had it when you drilled it. Oh yeah, that's not even close. Well, maybe, I don't know. Let's just cram these bolts in and, you know, we'll, we'll just pretend that they lined up good. I think I got lucky. Now, did you know there's a, a right way and a wrong way to have a washer? And I, I don't remember what it is, but I don't think it fucking matters either. Not for this anyway. All right, sweet. I got to get some more hardware, which means I got to climb down again. You know, I would. So now we got to gotta bolt this thing down. Make sure you use way too many washers. Definitely. I like the flange nuts because they have this little flat backer. So it's almost like an extra washer. But I get the wide ones because this plastic's kind of flimsy. It'll stabilize it. Now you'll look, look at the threads on the, the bolts there. You'll see they got sealant on them. And uh, that's not on purpose. I'm just, uh, you know, just covering her together here, it looks like. But let's, uh, 
I'll start threading these in. This is where it gets interesting. Oh yeah. And I can't reach both at the same time. So we'll get them started and then I'll have to go up there and have one of you guys hold on to them and we'll tighten them down. You know, do the thing with the stuff and on go in there go to your home go go suck my white ass ball let's play the is this wrench the right size game oh first try that never happens okay so how the hell Am I going to be in two places at once? This is going to be interesting. If I maybe, can I, oh, I might be able to do this. Hang on. Nope, arm's not long enough. I got an idea. So everybody's probably got snap-on tools because you're all professionals, right? Well. You need to go down to Walmart and get yourself a Stanley. I don't even know if they still make these, but they should. Looks like a regular ratchet, but it's not. You get in a bad spot and you can't swing the ratchet. You just do this. Twist the handle. That's pretty neat. Screw this. Yep. Done. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Knock off Flex Seal. They didn't even have Flex Seal in stock. So now we're just gonna fog this whole area. As you can see, I already did it over here. and It looks like it's failing because it's, you know, a quality product. Ooh, that's aggressive. Now sure, this is not the fit and finish of a factory mount, but be honest, if you're seeing this part of the roof, you got bigger problems than uh, whether your mount looks good or not. I'm just going to go ahead and put way too much on. I'm going to even just help that out a little bit. Sealed gonna go ahead and stick this on here before it dries because I'm impatient as fuck and I don't really feel like waiting around so we're just gonna ease it on just like there sure looks good that's where it's staying but she's magneted on and she looks factory Out comes the hard part where are we gonna just run all this wiring probably just across the roof and jam it up into here with all of these run it down maybe the a pillar Maybe not. Then she's gonna plug in there. High performance zip ties. Get the black ones, everybody knows they're stronger. And I'm not, it's not a racism thing, but literally, I don't know what it is, the black zip ties are stronger. The white ones are garbage. Any of the other colors, they just break. The black ones, mint.
Now, if you're like, you really cared about this a lot, you could probably hide this a little better. It, this is a work rig. I mean, it's there's like garbage in the back of it most of the time. So, I don't really care about it that much. I need it to work. It's uh, functionality before form. And Jerome's going to go by with the mower right now, so you probably can't even hear me, but trust me, good enough. I don't know what to do here. This is, I guess, just come across here and shove it into this. Yeah. Get in there. Mint. Look at that. You can't even. I mean, I'm telling you, this is like a SEMA build. The better and better it gets. Next thing you know, we'll be off to Vegas showing off our deluxe craftsmanship here. Don't get me wrong, I can do better. I'm just choosing not to. There's a difference. Now listen, I use zip ties an awful lot. They're a great product, right? Do yourself a favor and clip the tails. I mean, I'm not a monster, come on. God damn it. All right, and that's how to put a light bar on your Kawasaki mule for as cheap as possible.